This is Democracy Now!, democracynow.org, The War and Peace Report. I'm Amy Goodman. We end today's show here in New York City, where a political event hosted by Alana Glazer of Comedy Central's Broad City at the Union Temple Synagogue in Prospect Heights, Brooklyn, was canceled Thursday night after anti-Semitic and racist messages were found scrawled across walls throughout the building, just before the event was to begin. Among the messages were, Jew better be ready, insert oven here. Another said, as we walk through the halls, end is now, Hitler. Another scrawled, free smoke for N-word Jews. And N-word was written out. And then there was one that said F-P-E-E-P-R, with what looked like a Puerto Rican flag. The graffiti comes amidst a surge in anti-Semitic hate crimes nationwide, including Saturday's massacre of 11 Jewish worshipers at the Tree of Life Synagogue in Pittsburgh. I was scheduled to speak at Ilana Glazer's event last night to talk about coverage of the midterm elections and the coverage of grassroots movements leading up to it. On Thursday night, um, Ilana Glazer, after careful consideration, after looking at the graffiti, announced to the crowd of hundreds of people that she was canceling the event. Thank you for coming tonight, um, we have a situation that we will that's not presenting any immediate danger, but um, there were uh, hateful anti-Semitic scrawled all over the space today. Um, very recently, within the past couple hours, um, so we don't feel safe. The Union Temple Synagogue in Brooklyn hosts outside events frequently, including an upcoming event next week commemorating the anniversary of Kristallnacht, that's the Night of Broken Glass, November 10, 1938, when the glass of Jewish stores was smashed throughout Germany. Well, for more, we're joined here in our New York studio by Alana Glazer, co-creator and star of the hit comedy central show, Broad City. Welcome to Democracy Now!, Alana. Hi, Amy. Thanks for having me. Well, it wasn't just a few hours ago that we were together last night at the synagogue. You were just about to hold this event, which you were really excited mm -hmm. about. But then you got word what was scrawled um, through the stairwells and halls of the synagogue. Yeah, so um, these generator event <clears throat> events, it's uh, generator is an online movement to encourage people to use their Instagram to talk about how policy affects their everyday lives and humanize policy. Um, and then these live events, I've been interviewing politicians and activists to sort of hear and compare about how they serve, how they both work for the people. Um, and uh, this week started with. Uh, it started and ended with uh, white supremacy kind of ruining our, our programming. I um, Last night was, uh, was very—it um, it was hard to tell. And every time we started talking about, like, what it could be, it, it just was like, no, we, we can't—I um, can't put these 200 people who, who came to uh, listen in a safe space. I can't put them in that danger. We just walked outside uh, the green room, and we saw, right by the um, all-gender bathroom, uh, the words scrolled kind of with magic marker, and it said, insert, but it left out the N, insert oven here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I, and it was all—what was scary was that it was all over the um, building, and then the cops were kind of searching the building. It was, it was too freaky. It was too freaky to, mm -hmm. to hold it. And there are a number of events in the building. And um, very interestingly, as we went outside, and hundreds of really disappointed people who were really galvanized for the midterm elections, um, I saw a sign uh, outside, which we'll talk about in a second, that has to do with an event uh, that uh, dealing with uh, what happened back in 1939. But talk about when you talk about the Generator Series, what you mean. So the Generator Series is. Um an in-person gathering of um, people who are part of this online community, who are willing to share part of their platform, because all of us have a platform now, with, um, with you know, to discuss how policy affects, how the government affects our everyday lives. It's so, it feels so um, amorphous or philosophical until we hear about it, uh, you know, 
affecting people's bodies, women's bodies, brown brown bodies, black bodies. Um, and, you know, I think that uh, we talk a lot in Generator about, like, not discussing politics growing up in the 90s. Don't talk about politics was like a phrase on the tip of everyone's tongue. And I think that's what's gotten us here today with this divisive country and this um, divisive political landscape and this sort of representation of a president, you know, but not it's not really someone who's come up and understands policy and understands history or, or law. Um, so it was interesting last night that it's like, you know, rather than sharing your story, we lived through a story. We lived through um, we lived through a, a safe, you know, um, physically benign version of a white supremacist act. And yeah, the the I had four events scheduled this week, and the in the first event, this candidate had to pull out because I called his opponent a white supremacist on Instagram. He had to pull out. And I totally understood, and I had this, like, ideological crossroads, like, did I do the wrong thing? But this is—that was my view. And that silenced uh, this candidate, Perry Gershon, from coming. And last night, I was, like, so ready. I have these beautiful, bright people ready to go, ready to canvas, ready to do—you know, I, I, I intended to point um, people in the community to canvas, to knock on doors and um, change the—, the local elections to, to win for—to help, um, you know, progressive candidates who stand for human rights politics to win. In New York and Long Island. That's right. And um, and I'm from Long Island, so it, it just was—has been, like, personal. And I've been in New York for the city for 13 years, so I just was very excited to um, point people in the right direction. And I, we saw, as a community, the generator community, we saw how white supremacy silences those politics and um, halts that action. Mm. You know, people might be surprised to hear you talking so seriously, um, uh, who are big fans of yours for Broad yeah. City. And, of course, you're a stand-up comic. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, it's—well, it's, it's uh, well, the Generator series has been funny, because rather than stand-up, like, what's the context here? This, the context is, I'm coming to see Alana Glazer do stand-up. But with Generator, it's like, the stakes are so high that the contrast of serious and comedy is so much—is so much greater. And there's actually a different kind of comedy that happens at Generator. But, yeah, I'm passionate about— um, But, of course, last night, there was not much humor. No. It was—I mean, that was scary. That was actually just straight-up scary. And, you know, with the mass shooting last week, um, you know, it was, like, already eerie to be having this, these events in a synagogue. But, you know, the—the— our president's words and our politicians' words, who, st who stand for white supremacy, who stand for violence and aggression, like, these words turn into action so quickly. We're seeing that happen now, and especially with no common-sense gun laws, you know, that action can be serious very quickly. And um, we, we weren't going to—we weren't going to take that risk. You refer a lot to your Jewish identity in Broad City, mm -hmm. um, as we just have a minute to go. Your final thoughts on uh, what this all means. And again, there were other slur words, too, like the N-word. Yeah, you know, I, I do. My Jewish identity means a lot to me. And I, um, you know, I implore other Jews to align themselves with those who, who, those who are also othered in this country. You know, this country was built on the backs of black and brown bodies. And Jews are in this weird middle space. But we are all othered. And, but we are all, as a, as a unit, we are strong and can stand up and make change in these midterm elections. I'm just so—I hope that we do. I really hope that we do. Our voices matter. And we have to be a little more strategic about our safety. But um, we, can, we can make change very Alana imminently. Alana Glazer, I want to thank you so much for being with us. Alana Glazer, comedian, writer, actress, co-creator, star of the hit Comedy Central show Broad City. You can go to our website to see the images at democracynow.org. A very fond farewell to our dear producer, Laura Gottesdiener. I have no words. Thank you so much for all of your contributions here over these years. Democracy Now! is produced by Mike Burke. Dina Geisner, Laura Gottesdiener, Nerman Sheikh, Carla Wills, Tammy Warnoff. I'm Amy Goodman. Thanks so much for joining us.